guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another journal with me video so get comfy and i really hope you guys enjoy it today i'm going to be working with the new journal with me kit which is the november kit so here is a look at the november journal with me kit this is the newest kit and it is available in my etsy store as of now well as of a few days ago and in this video i'm going to be using the kit in my journaling session and this kit turned out to be really, really perfect for the journaling that I had to do. So here I'm just giving you a good look at the kit, all of the pieces that come in the kit. As always, you get three sheets of cut apart pieces. Then you also get one full sized envelope and two full sized pattern papers. So for the November kit, I decided to do a very lightly festive sort of theme. So there's only really one piece in this kit that really screams Christmas, but the rest of it, I tried to go with colors that can kind of suggest or allude to Christmas. So if you wanted to include these with other more Christmassy pieces, they would definitely work and tie in together. I wanted this kit to feel yeah, a little bit festive, a little bit celebratory. And as always, I wanted all of the pieces to be nice and cohesive together so i really really like this kit there's also a lot of little labels that come in this kit that you can write on which i found really useful there's also this cute little squirrel card which you can leave as is or you can actually cut out the squirrel in the middle and use the outside as a photo frame so as i already said this kit is available as a download in my etsy store you can get it right now and i also have a sale on the rest of my shop right now so i'll leave the link to that down below and now let's get into the journaling so the journaling in this session is all about my sister who lives in new zealand coming to visit us she stayed for 10 days it was so much fun we crammed a lot into those 10 days and so as you can see i have a lot of photos i also have a lot of ephemera and i'm going to be working across lots of pages to sort of fit it all in and get that documented while it's fresh in my mind so on this first page i'm actually documenting our last full day together we went out for lunch at a beautiful little cafe and so from that cafe i have a coaster and i also have a pressed flower from actually from a drink it was on the top of the drink so i pressed that I put it in the microwave actually to speed up that process. And then I also have tons of photos from this day as well. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of working out the layout of the page and how I'm going to fit so much onto one spread. And the prompted journal card for this month is a rating card. And this card you can use to sort of review anything that you want so it has a place to rate out of five stars and then you can check off if it's any one of those things like a restaurant like i've done and if not there's also room to write whatever your thing may be that you are rating and then there's also a place for extra comments or extra journaling so just a really fun card and i'm using it to rate the cafe that we went to so i've worked out where i want to put my photos and i'm just attaching some of them down onto the page I'm generally using double-sided tape to attach my photos and then I'm also using a Bostick glue stick to stick other things down so things that are a bit lighter like paper and I also use my stapler to stick things in or reinforce things as well. I decided to stick in that rating card as a pocket so I put double-sided tape on three sides and then I took the postcard from the November kit and I folded it in half and stitched it to create this sort of little pocket or like a little folder where I could slip in my extra photos and then that's going to sit behind the rating card. I just didn't want those photos to kind of get lost and be hard to pull in and out of that rating card and I also wanted it to kind of poke out a little bit so it's easy to pull in and out so that worked really really well with the pressed flower I actually taped it so I just put some clear tape over the top of it onto a little vellum envelope and then I'm just sticking that vellum envelope over the side of the page so it can fold in and out and then later on I can actually put something inside that vellum envelope and then on the opposite side I used that beautiful green tag from the November kit to sort of extend that page and then I stuck the photo of the drinks on top and then I'm putting a picture just of the scene at the cafe below that and then I decided to stick along the edge there the coaster as well as one of the labels from the kit. So here I'm just picking which label to use and it just worked out really well because the colors in the November kit 
kind of matched this cafe and all of the photos and things that I had from the cafe. So it was kind of hard to choose which labels to use where because everything really went well together. So it was kind of like picking the best out of the best. I ended up just stapling that coaster off the edge of the page as well. And I really like how that looks. So this is a little green sticky note pad. This is from Tapeology. I just slipped that inside the vellum envelope because the green matched really well. And now I'm moving on to the next page. And on this little slim page, I decided it would be perfect to document the board games that we played. I have a photo of some of us sitting together on the floor playing some board games. And then I also have my Cluedo suspect list that I've kept from one of the games that we played. And I'm just going to attach this all onto this slim page, as well as one of the little labels from the kit, which again happened to fit really perfectly on this slim page in my journal. And I'm just working out how I'm going to assemble this together. I ended up taking the linen from this kit as well and adding it to the page just to fill in that awkward gap and to help decorate the page. I also have a shorter page to work with here, which worked out really well for the photos we had of us at the beach. I didn't have a whole lot to document other than two photos that I wanted to include and so I fit them both onto this page. I just layered that bottom photo on top of these pretty vintage flowers and then I added another label from the kit. So I think I ended up using all of the labels in this kit or all of the blank labels I should say from the November kit just in this spreads. I just had a lot of things to journal about and little things to annotate. So they really came in handy throughout this journaling session. Again, I'm moving on to the following page. So I'm keeping all of this all together in my journal and I'm just assembling again, a ton of photos. This is all photos from a dinner we had with the family. And so you can see how I've worked out how I'm gonna fit that all onto one page. And then on the back of that slim page, I'm taking this pretty green title card from the November kit and I'm attaching that as a pocket. And then inside that I'm slipping a wrapper from some chocolate my sister brought over from New Zealand. So I slipped that wrapper inside. And now I'm going ahead and using my double-sided tape to secure all of those photos on the page. Some of them overlap just slightly and it worked out fine. They all ended up fitting on the one page, which was really good because there's quite a lot of photos there. And then I'm moving on to the final spread that I'm going to do in this journaling session. And this is documenting a different dinner at a different place on a different night. And I have a menu from there, which I'm stapling straight to the page. And then I also have one photo from this dinner and I'm just going to sort of cram those together on this page. I layered the photo up on a little piece of scrap, scrap of paper, and then I used another label from the November kit. And on that pretty page with the farm animals, I glued the envelope from the kit upright. So I secured it together in a way where it would work to be a uh, top loading pocket long ways and then I stapled that along the bottom to secure it and I'm going to add some journaling inside that later. So once I was happy with where everything was I went in with my pen and I added some written journaling across all of the pages, filled in all of the journaling spaces and labels that I'd left myself and then I decided to pull out my typewriter because I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to do some journaling about like a lot of journaling about and I didn't really feel like handwriting it out so I pulled out my typewriter and I just typed out the most memorable things from the 10 days that we spent together and then I just folded that up and I slipped it inside that envelope which I attached on the last page and then I decided as well to add a little pocket on top of that because I realized I had a couple of business cards that I'd picked up throughout the 10 days just from some little pop-up shops that we had been to because we went shopping together a few times. So I just wrote about that on top of the envelope as well. Last of all, I'm just pulling out some stickers. So I have a clear box full of stickers. I'm just pulling out any sheets that I think I might like to use. I pulled out a lot of American Crafts Maggie Holmes stickers and also some little tiny word stickers from Tapeology. And then I'm just adding those stickers around the page. I'm just showing you some of them here. I ended up using quite a lot of stickers. So you can just see me placing some of these around the page. Sometimes I'll put them directly on top of photos and other times just straight on a page or on a pocket. And now I'm just giving you a look at the finished pages. 
and all the little interactive elements and where I managed to fit everything in. I really like how these pages turned out. I feel like it really helps to encapsulate the time that we spent together and it's a nice little reflection of the time that we spent together. I feel like I keep wanting to refer to it as a holiday even though I didn't go anywhere but it kind of felt like a holiday because we were trying to make the most of our time and just fit in lots of little things to do together and eat out a lot and go shopping and stuff like that so it was a really nice time. Now I'm just giving you a close-up of some of those details I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can always leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and I'll see you soon in my next video.